Hey everyone, welcome to Vet Visit. I'm Hansika Singh and I'm a veterinary student. It is 1st January 2021. So this is my first vlog of the new year. I wish a very very happy new year to all of you and may this year bring you uh, the best of health and happiness and success also. And those who are veterinary parents, I wish that you achieve your dreams this year. Our clinical static internship is over and now we are starting with our rotatory internship and the first one is veterinary diagnostic laboratory. So I have been posted here for about 10 days. Uh, we are doing a couple of tests and obviously today's test is going to depend on what the sample is and what is the requirement of the requirement of the test. Like yesterday we did a fecal examination in a cattle who was suffering from chronic diarrhea and today let's see what test do we have so let's get started with the day. For our first procedure which is TLC that is total leukocyte count, we have our blood sample over here. So first of all we have to mix our blood sample gently but thoroughly. Then we have to take 380 microliters of WBC diluting fluid which is Turx fluid to a dry test tube. And next we will take 20 microliters of our thoroughly mixed blood sample. We can wipe off the pipette with tissue paper for any excess blood and then add it to the diluting fluid and mix it nicely. Then we have to keep it aside for 5 minutes. In the meantime, focus the new bus counting chamber, place a cover slip over it and carefully charge it. Make sure that there is no overflowing. Charging is done, it is then viewed under 10x power of microscope. Count the WBCs in the 4 WBC squares and calculate the result. For the next test which was CBC which is complete blood count, blood is drawn into capillary tubes that come in the kit and is centrifuged. Then the tube goes inside the hematology analyzer which reads it and all the values are displayed on it. Centrifugation separates the blood according to the densities of the cell. Plasma at the top, in the Buffy code there are platelets and WBC components and the most dense RBCs is settled at the bottom. The cell layers are distinguished by fluorescence due to acrid and orange stain present in the tube and the width of each cell population tells how many cells are there. Wider band means more cells. Coming to the SNAP test. SNAP test kits are available for various diseases. Here is a testing kit of feline SNAP FLP that is feline pancreas specific lipase. And this test may be done when we suspect feline pancreatitis. We did not get any feline sample that day but I'd like to show you its kit and brief about its procedure. First we mix conjugate mixture that comes in the kit with our blood sample in a sample tube and then the entire conjugate mix blood sample is poured onto the sample well over here. Once the color first appears in the activation circle we have to press the activator down or snap it. Hence the name SNAP test. Then we read the window for the colored spots and the results are interpreted accordingly. But if you are using SNAP Pro Analyzer, no need to snap it. Just insert this into the analyzer. It will automatically activate the SNAP test and interpret the result. Next test was done using serum for canine LDH and GGT. These are the specific barcodes for it that goes inside the device and the results are interpreted.
next test for the day was estimation of hemoglobin level using hemometer first we have to take 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid up to mark 2% of this tube then we have to withdraw the blood sample up to mark 20 then transfer into the tube containing 0.1 normal hcl and mix it well let it stay for around 10 minutes so hemoglobin gets converted to acid hematin which is brown in color to get the reading we have to dilute this solution with distilled water drop by drop and stir it well continuously till the color matches with the brown color comparator tubes our final hemoglobin value came as 15 grams per deciliter in this canine blood sample at last i prepare a blood smear for canine blood sample for that first we need to take a dry glass slide and label it as per the sample number species and date then we have to withdraw the required amount of blood sample into the pipette transfer it over the glass slide then using an even edge spreader slide Prepare a thin smear. Let it dry and then starts the staining procedure. And once the slide is washed and dried, it is viewed under oil immersion lens of the microscope. 